What I wanna talk about today is the AI experience advantage. We've been working at Coveo for more than a decade with forward-thinking global enterprises, and we really understand what it takes to gain the AI experience advantage. All of this work culminated into one single platform, which is really the cumulative knowledge of applying AI into digital experiences across commerce, customer service, and the workplace for more than a decade with more than 700 global brands. And so that's how we've gained recognition. Our journey in AI really started a decade ago, more than a decade ago with machine learning, which was really the defining technology that changed search, really allowed us to understand who's at the other end. And we evolved further by adding deep learning, AI semantics. And so we're very proud today that we were the first company to announce in full production, enterprise ready generative answering. And we're excited to show that to you today. And that's not where it stops. Our daily innovation is the cumulative work of, of all these companies and, and the application of AI. And, and this bodes for a very bright future. We believe that that future is business to person, that this will be powered by AI search and generative experiences. And we'll spend a lot of time today talking about that. Experience is today's competitive front line. It's a make or break for many businesses, predominantly because when you're online, when people are online, whether they wanna try something, buy something, listen to something, fix something, connect with someone, whether they're on websites, on commerce sites, on employee portals, or on customer service sites, they all want, we all want an experience that is designed just for me, that is prescriptive, that anticipates, and that basically is connected. So the winners in experience can deliver these experiences that are highly individualized, that are prescriptive and connected, but they can do that using AI, of course, in a way that allows them to generate profits, that allows them to cut costs. They can deliver these experiences in highly scalable ways and in ways that are trusted and secure. And there is ample evidence that those experience winners are sprinting ahead and outperform in customer lifetime value, in shareholder value, and in brand power. So what is a trusted AI experience advantage? What we're really doing here is moving enterprises from persona to persons, the ability to cater and curate individualized, trusted and connected experiences across millions of users and billions of moments. And in a way that every time we drive superior business outcomes. This is something that is only possible with the power of AI. If we think about the customers and the enterprises we've been working with at Coveo for more than a decade, they all have the following in common. They deal with massive amount and variety of content or products, sometimes hundreds of thousands of SKUs, millions of documents across multiple content sources. They need to use that content deliver those products in highly individualized ways to a very large and diversified audience across multiple channels to people who expect highly individualized experiences and they need to make money. The only way to reconcile, to solve the problem that reconciles content, persons, and money, that reconciles individualization and profitability at scale is AI. It is not humanly possible otherwise. And what we're seeing is a growing competitive divide between companies who adopt it and implicitly companies who don't and make the implicit or unconscious choice to compete against those who do. And we know who's gonna be on the winning side. Gen AI is only adding to that disruption. You need to get going or get left behind as you can see here on this quote from Accenture. So AI to us is an imperative, and Gen AI brings an even greater impact. To frame the conversation here, what we're really talking about here at Coveo is the application of Gen AI within digital experiences. 
really revolutionizing customer service, e-commerce, or employee experiences, or website and portal experiences, as opposed to generative AI as it applies to code creation or content creation, summarization, marketing, messaging creation, or, or things of that nature that we're not involved with. So we're really interested by the Gen AI revolution as it relates to customer and employee experiences. We believe that in that area, there is the emergence of a new, much more powerful AI experience paradigm. That essentially the worlds of intelligent search, conversations, answering, chats, and personalization and recommendations are all converging into one much more powerful paradigm. If we think about the evolution of the digital experience paradigm over the past two decades, many of us still remember websites that had no search box, that were vanilla. And then came the search box with the ability to perform keyword search. Obviously, contextual search came after where we could use data to understand users' context and, and really tailor experiences a little more. Semantic AI brought the whole world of meaning to content and, and really created much more powerful experiences. And AI was really the defining technology that allowed us to understand who's at the other end and really turn search on its head by really understanding the context, the intent, and the behavior of the user and really cater to that. Generative AI now brings another level of experience, an experience that is much more advisory in nature. It is a tectonic shift. And the reason is that if you think about the world before AI, software was really about applying rules on data models. It was about, in business, it was about helping companies to automate, gain efficiency, do faster, do more of the same. AI learns, finds the rules. It is not about efficiency, it is about proficiency, which is really about enabling people to do more on their own. And from that perspective, it is about human augmentation more than it is about automation. This whole notion of self-service proficiency is extremely profound, far-reaching, and will change the world in many areas, and particularly in digital experiences. Now, if you think about generative AI, we've always been surprised and when, when the world was taken by storm by chat GPT earlier this year and at the end of 2022, and when people started writing poems on their iPhone on Saturday evening, obviously, if you're a CIO, there are some key considerations. Security. Chat GPT doesn't have any understanding of security. If you're in an enterprise, you deal with highly secure content, you deal with permission, and you deal with public large language models that have retention policies where you can't just load your IP or customer information. Accuracy. Chat GPT lies with a lot of confidence. You can't do that if you're a large brand. You need to deliver answers that are highly accurate, factual, that use content that is current, not three month or a year old, and that is traceable, what we call lineage, Content lineage, the ability to trace the source of truth, the ability to reach multiple sources of content to feed generative AI will augment dramatically the value of generative AI. But of course, you need the flexibility to evolve the data landscape, which obviously indexing allows you to do. And you need to make sure that you use first party data in highly ethical ways, that you're not breaching any IP or, um, or uh, privacy um, uh, regulations and preferences on the parts of the user. If Gen AI is not engineered properly, there is a huge cost. It can be as much as 100 or even 1,000 times the cost of processing search and, and queries. So this is a very expensive technology that needs to be optimized and where you need to understand real business cases and ROI. And finally, CIOs worry about users. You need to make sure that whatever experience you deliver is really relevant for users, that it matches their intent and their engagement. So at the end of the day, 
The application of generative AI is a real science and it's all about trust. Experiences that are trusted by users, experiences that enterprise can trust in their delivery. Laurent will talk about this later on, but you can see some examples here at partners.coveo.com and docs.coveo.com because Coveo is customer zero for this. So I'll let Laurent talk about this, but what you will see here live in full production is a highly secure, fully integrated search and, and answering experience that has full disambiguation and navigation with it, alongside with it, and traceability to the source of truth. And again, I'll let Laurent talk about that, as well as introduce how some of our customers, including Xero Software, are deploying this globally at scale in full production as we speak. So this is not theory, this is something that is live and ready today. So I'll conclude by saying that it is our strong belief at Coveo that every enterprise needs a spinal AI capability to deliver trusted, connected, and highly individualized experiences at scale. But do this in a way that drives business outcome, maximizes business outcomes at every interaction across every digital journey. And of course, from all sources of content, the ability to essentially adapt to the data landscape continuously and to privacy and security at scale. And this is what we've been working on at Coveo with many of you over more than a decade and will carry us in the future for many years ahead. We believe that that future is business to person and as explained, we believe that that future is powered by AI search and generative experiences.